Hey guys, I have got a super duper cool request from L. Dupree. Super great suggestion. This is one of the reasons why I love my swing evolution and the way everybody participates. L. Dupree said, Christo, is there any PGA pro who is not doing an OTT swing? If so, you should do a video that compares. And I'll tell you for a second, I was like, wow, you know, he may have a big point because let me show you. If my hands, if I set up at a dress and I've got a lot of flex in my wrists right here, when I get to impact, my hands are going to be higher, you know? So I was thinking, wow, maybe, maybe um, everybody's hand path is a little bit inside over the top in a 2D dimensional look from down the line. And I didn't think it was because I've been looking at enough golf swings in my life. Um, but it was something that I needed to dig into. And so I did that and I pulled up Adam Scott, Sergio Garcia, Joaquin Neiman, and they're all pretty much the same. They're on plane swingers. So that was a great suggestion. And we are going to dig into Adam Scott's golf swing. And it's really, really fascinating. We are even going to compare his swing to Victor Hovland. So we're going to see stark differences. And I think you will be able to see the biomechanical differences between these two golf swings. And I think that it's a valuable comparison. Now, just so you guys know, I am teaching the over the top golf swing here in Pasadena at Eaton Canyon. My preferred day to teach is Wednesday. I can do other times, but I like to try and keep it to Wednesday. And the next MSC over the top miracle school is May 28th and 29th. So it's about a month away. I've had a lot of people reach out to me about this and I'm about to start registering people. So please let me know if you want a spot because the spots are limited and I might even be able to have a special guest who is an incredible, incredible teacher. So at any rate, if you're not satisfied with your golf swing and you'd like to really smash it, I highly encourage that you pick up the over the top miracle swing video. I'd love for you to be a part of MSC TV. That's where I'm going to be posting videos about my progress and deep insights into the over the top golf swing. It's real basic. I'll tell you, take it inside up and over. That's it. But if you want this highly detailed, refined information, what I teach my students, go to MSC TV. Now let's dig into Adam Scott's amazing, not over the top miracle swing. Okay, guys, let's take a look at the beautiful golf swing of Adam Scott. I mean, you can't say anything bad about that. I mean, he's a master's winner, multiple winner on the tour, beautiful rhythm, and absolute gorgeous geometry in his golf swing. So again, um, there's many ways to swing the club, but if I had a preference or if I had a biomechanic instinct for which may be better, I think the over-the-top swing is better. But let's take a look at this a little bit closer. It looks pretty simple. Right up and down the plane. So if we add some dots... I think we can see right here in the beginning that there's this little down the line takeaway. Let's specifically key in on his hands. His hands are swinging out and away down the line. And right here we put our first stop, but notice the gap between his upper left arm and his chest. This is what I don't think, I think that this, this right here from here on out, you're gonna be trying to find it. So from left arm parallel to the top, we don't see any of the half moon crescent shape. And then we're going to see that club get pulled down 
inside P3. And he's right back on plane. It's, it's a marvel of being perfectly on plane. I don't think you can do much better if your goal is to be on plane. But I'm not sure that it's the most efficient way to compress the golf ball. Now here we have a long iron. Again, beautiful, steady rhythm. It looks almost to me that the, the more he gets going, the harder he goes at it, the more the ball tends to go out to the right. which maybe he's aiming there, I don't know, um, but it just seems to me like the, the faster he begins to turn, the more the club is behind him. Um, but what do I know? Yeah, so here we have the same, the same routine, perfectly on plane. Well, it sure is pretty, that's for sure. Okay, now let's look at my main man, Victor Hovland. From the trouble. From the trouble. That looks a little bit different, doesn't it, guys? Wow, Victor Hovland is a smasher. That's that's what I want to be. Okay, I believe this is a better way to swing the club now. So we'll go step by step. Look at what we have here. Okay, on the butt end of the handle, we're looking at already. This is this is a big. This is the whole thing right here. We can see that Adam is swinging it up in front of his his chest, and Victor's allowing the club to come inside. Here we can see Victor's much more inside. Now he's creating the half moon crescent. Where we can see Victor's constellation looks way more inside and up, where Adam's is out and around. Now, I was taught this Adam Scott style swing to swing out and around swing down the train tracks with the club head and take my hands around. And I, I mean, this was, this was around 2008. I was taught this. It was all the rage. If you look at Nick Watney and Adam Scott, this is how they were swinging. But my gosh, I, I just completely lost it. But here we see on the downswing, there's quite a difference, I would say, in the look of how... Victor Hovland is using his legs. Man. I had a guy comment yesterday that what I'm doing is dangerous. <laughs> I don't know how this is dangerous. I'm just showing people that biomechanically this is a better way to leverage the golf club. My gosh. Look at Hovland on the right. If you were chopping, if you had to chop wood and you were, you know, in a competition, I'm putting all my money on Victor Hovland. All of it. <laughs> okay, let's see some pretty drivers from Adam Scott. Again, I'm a huge Adam Scott fan. I wanted to do this in the past. I don't think it's the easiest way to do it, though. That's awesome. And he's long. Whoa. There we can clearly see it. Let's watch this one more time. 
out and around. Okay, so let's just take this up. Now watch the hands in the club head stay outside, right there. He's right down the train tracks. Okay, you can see the alignment stick on the ground. He's keeping that club head going straight down the train tracks. And look at that upper left arm. Look at the space. Now he's only swinging from the shoulder joint. As he takes the club up, we can see him prescribing an arc that is out and around. Now he has his little transition. He's very, very patient, guys. Look at, look at this, okay? He's basically at the top of his backswing. And here's one frame, two frames, three frames, four frames. He has just stayed in the same spot for four frames. Now this, this is key. His, he has to have the best timing in the world. But he's so patient up here in transition. Five frames. And he's hardly moved an inch. Because if he gets quick at all, I bet this ball's going into right field. But he's very patient. Gathers himself. Stays wide. Pulls the handle down inside his backswing. P5. Way outside. P6 and he's inside his backswing. And he lets it fly. Beautiful, beautiful rhythm. So I'm gonna make one more point about Adam Scott, and it was uh, from a video I saw of him training with one of his physio guys, and he was lying in a twist. His back was on the ground. And I do the same twist in yoga all the time. And he said that when he twists his hips against his upper body with both shoulders on the ground, with his back on the ground, the ground will not stop him, meaning he can just twist as far as he wants in his spine. And they have to keep him from over-twisting. I'm the opposite. I can't, my spine does not twist and it does not, it does not flex and extend nearly as much as a lot of these tour guys. And Adam Scott is one of the flexiest guys that I've seen. Um, but we can see he has great clearance with his body. He doesn't have a lot of right side bend, you know, but this swing is a, a tour winner's golf swing, you know. I wish I had won on tour. Um, but if I had my druthers today, after all the research I've done, I think that there's a little bit better way to swing the golf club, guys. And that's why I call it a miracle. And uh, I think it's easier on your body. But there's no question, Adam Scott is one of the greatest golfers of our generation. And I hope he plays well in the future. And I hope you guys hit him long and hit him straight. I want you to swing over the top. You heard me, now hear me out. My little over the top move is the final puzzle piece that I've been searching for for 12 years. I want you to swing over the top because it's easy, it's natural, and many of the greatest golfers in history swung over the top. Do you think uh, you picked up some yardage since we've been working oh, on this stuff? On the driver at least 50 to 60 yards. A few decades ago, when golf became a big industry, they began to teach swinging wide and out instead of inside and up. This single change in instruction doomed three generations of golfers. I spent 30 years with a dumpster fire swing trying to figure this out. That's why I started my swing evolution. If you're tired of being a bad golfer, click the link below to experience your very own miracle.